Hey everybody, it's Lisa Young Sutton with the first of many Grand Tableau videos that I will be sharing. Now, this is a GT that I laid over a year ago for one of my regular clients and I recreated it for this video from the photo that I had sent to her. She's a, a long distance client. All right, she is a single heterosexual female and she had a single question, which was, is he coming back to me? So this is a single question grand tableau. And it's really the reason why I wanted to start this series with that, because I wanted to show you how much information you, you can get by using a grand tableau to answer one single question. Because what happens when you have a client or even if you're just reading for yourself or a friend and you ask that yes, no question, is he coming back? Well, if it's a no, you're definitely gonna have more questions and lay more cards. And even if it's a yes, you're still gonna have more questions and lay more cards. I found that by laying a grand tableau for a single question like this, that it's one and done. I lay the cards, I answer their question, and then all of their follow-up questions I can answer with the same spread. I do not have to lay any more cards. Before I forget, this is the Purple Dragon Dundorf. This is a Dundorf deck. It's a mini deck. And I would like to mention this mat. This mat I have, oh my gosh, I think I have five or six of these mats. I love them. They are Grand Tableau mats by Loreen Music on Etsy. Her Etsy store is called Divine Apothecary. And these are, what are these? They have a foam, there's a little beaker here. They have a foam backing. They don't slide around. They're thick. They, you just roll them up when you're not using them. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. So, now, using a grand tableau for a single question. Remember in another video I mentioned that a grand tableau is similar to a word search. Now here we have a word search, right? When you look at a word search, you don't just stare at every single letter because it's, it's very hard to see anything if you just stare at every single letter. And you will, by doing that, you'll notice like the most obvious, you know, words that jump out at you. But that's not how you um, work through a, a, a word search. What you do, <clears throat> excuse me, is you take one word at a time, right? That, like that's your question. That's your focus. You're focusing on one word at a time. And oh, look, I found it. There it is. Anyway, <laughs> and then you turn, you, you know, you go to the puzzle and you look for one specific word at a time. So that is what you need to do with a grand tableau. You need to, don't just look at all these cards and say, oh my gosh, I can't even see anything. There's too many cards, I'm going crazy. No, you're just gonna focus on one thing at a time. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is that this is a nine by four. Um, I don't know how many of you use nine by fours and a lot of new people may not even have, have seen a, a nine by four. Um, because this was from over a year ago, I originally started by reading nine by fours, basically because I didn't know what the hell to do with that fate line. <clears throat> so I said, oh good, I'm not, I'm not going to, to lay an eight by four plus four. So I started out with a nine by four. Um, I rarely use them now simply because um, the eight by four plus four, once I started reading with those, I, I basically memorized the houses, you know, where, I don't even need a mat. I know exactly what the houses are and, you know, I just got used to it. That's all. It's just a matter of, um, you know, being comfortable with seeing the same thing all the time. But I still use a nine by four plus four when I lay a timing spread for nine months. Um, and uh, which I do a lot for uh, if, uh, future pregnancy questions, things like that. But anyway, so, who is the primary significator here? It is my client, the woman, okay, number 29. She is the primary in this. So this is her spread, okay? It is her question, it's her spread. 
So you can say she is the subject of this grand tableau. Now, what is her question? Will my boyfriend, um, he had left her for another woman, so she's asking, will he come back to me? So you could say he is the object of this grand tableau. So he gets the partner card. He is number 28. Now in this situation, because he left her for another woman, I chose to use the snake card to represent his new woman, not because she's a snake. The snake card is a traditional card of the rival or the competitor. I use it almost all the time for, or maybe, maybe all the time, um, to represent the other woman, not because the other woman is a snake, but she is a snake to my client, isn't she? She is definitely a snake to my client. Now, to in relation to him, I am viewing this card as the queen of clubs, all right? This is his new woman. So to him, she is the queen of clubs. To her, my client, she is definitely a snake. All right, so now, um, so now back, back to the fact that this is her spread. Okay, so my point with that was when I'm looking at the relationship of the, um, the new woman to him, I will view this as the queen of clubs, right? Like I just said. But when I view this, the whole spread in, in um, you know, reading for my client, this is still the snake card. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, you know, when I'm, at, when I'm just looking at her and reading this spread as her spread, this is the snake card. When I'm looking at how is he, you know, how is his relationship with his new woman, now it is the queen of clubs. Okay, so what am I looking for in this? Because this is a single question. The question again is, will he come back to me? So what I am looking for is where does he land in relation to her? Where does the man land in relation to my, uh, to my client? And where does he land in relation to his new woman? Okay, that is what I am looking for. Where does she land in relation to the new woman? I don't really care about that, do I? But I do care about where he lands in relation to her and where he lands in relation to the, to the other woman. So I wanna see how close they are and what cards connect them. Connecting cards are what connects her to him? The stork and the anchor, okay? Now, um, and I also wanna see what cards are immediately touching both of them. Okay, so now, what is your first impression when you look at this? I, I, I probably don't even have to tell you, uh, you know, what the answer is, because if you look, how far apart are they? Could they get much further apart? Well, they really can't, unless he's in the final column. They really couldn't get much further apart. But look how close he is to, to the new woman. All right, now also, what house did she land in? She lands in the house of Scythe, okay? And she's got the Scythe at her back. What lands in her house? The coffin. I mean, really, that's all you, you have to look at, I think, and you're gonna get your answer. No, he's not coming back. You've been cut out of his life. It's over. Final end, okay? It's done. So, um, now, what can we say about him? He lands in anchor, and anchor lands in his house. Whenever I see a crisscross, that immediately gets my intention. There's a few crisscrosses in here. So what, what can we, we can say about him is that he is anchored where he is now. He's, he's secure where he is now, right? Because he's got anchor in his house, and he's an anchor, so he's he has dropped his anchor someplace else. Um, she has the cross right above her head. Now, when the cross is close, you might think, oh, that's horrible. But actually, you want it 
close because no matter what, it's going to fall somewhere. There's always going to be burdens in your life. But if it falls close, that means they're of short duration. All right, they're kind of, think of it as um, it's these close cards are things that you are in control of in a way, okay? So that's the meaning, the near far um, method of distance meaning, right, of the cross is that you, you don't want it above you. You would rather have it below you. But if it's close, at least you know it's of short duration. But what this does say being above her head is that this is a burden she has to endure. She has to endure this right now. And it's not going away. Not right now. Okay, now, I also notice the crisscross of um, cross and rider, all right? So the news that she is getting is a burden, okay? You can also say, because here he is right here, all right? And look, he's looking at the rider and this, you know, the rider's heading out here. So you could definitely also say that he is now visiting someone else and that's the burden she has to endure. Yeah. Okay, so what else can we say about him? Well, he is the secondary in this, right? She's primary, he's secondary as far as the significators go. So when she is the primary, she gets the row. He is the secondary, he gets the column. That is how I intersect the primary to the secondary, right? Somebody has to have their, their primary uh, line, has to, one has to be the column, one has to be the row. So the primary gets the row, the secondary gets the column. So that's how I can intersect them. And that's how I can see that this is her primary line, right? So this is her uh, line of sight, you could say. This is his primary line, all right? Now look at the difference. Look at his primary line. He's got the sun and the, the card of change and happiness. And, and um, you could even say, and I think I did say this to her, actually I know I did, that it looks like he's even going to propose to this new woman. I mean, look at, look at this. We have the new woman and we have the ring and this is him delivering the ring. This is him inviting, right, inviting the ring, you know, inviting her to take the ring. This is, he's a successful, positive change that he's happy with, okay? New woman, right? Okay, so that's his little area there. Now look at her, look at the cards around her. Look at all the cards touching her, all right? Her personal life is a mess, isn't it? All right, so now look at her row. She's got the scythe at her back. As I said, it's chopping down her, her tree, her well-being, what, what had been taking root, what had been growing, all right? Um, what she doesn't know is that this, uh, this new couple, okay, the new couple it, are very happy together, okay? And this, you know, this is a change that has brought this new woman into his life and, you know, she's, She's got her back to all of this. This whole line is inauspicious to her. She doesn't want to see this now. It's, this is all hard for her to take, right? So he, on the other hand, is, is uh, you know, very happy. He's very happy where he is. Okay, so what did I tell her? Because, you know, let's get back to her because this is her spread. So what answer did I give her? Of course, I said, no, he's not coming back. It's time for you to move on. Now, I then start reading this whole spread just for her. So I told her that she feels her heart has been betrayed and the one who was loyal to her had deceived her and taken a detour. So. I told her that she's got so many troubling cards around her, but we need to look to the ship and the stars to see where her journey is heading. That is my method that I use. So what we can say there, when we look at the house and the cards of the ship and the stars, we can see that, where's the ship? Where'd the ship go? Right here. Okay, she's, she's heading to a new, to an, to, oh, this is the card of others, right? 
This is the card of discovering some luck out, out in the world, okay? By being independent and, and going with the flow, doing her own thing, and she will be invited by a man she probably has not met yet that she doesn't know. It is in the house of book. And here we have book in the house of child, so something new, okay? So she doesn't know yet, right? But it's heading toward the ring. Now the ring is in letter and letter is in ship. So she, it all tied in that she will be communicating with someone new and you know, there will be a, a happy ending. We have stars down here in sun and we have Lily, the card of bliss and peace and all of that in stars. Now we can also say that this man may be an older man, but even if he's not older, he will be wise, he will be virtuous, okay? They will be happy together. And that's exactly what happened. And that, that is why I've been digging through my journal to make these videos to try to find um, spreads for you where I've already received the feedback. So that is what happened. He, he didn't, she doesn't know actually, she, she lost touch with him at this point. I mean, she doesn't care, she doesn't wanna know. So I, I can't say that he um, proposed to the new woman, but I can say that he didn't come back to her and she did find somebody else and she is happy. So there you go, there is a GT for a single question. And I hope this has been educational and interesting and all of that. As always, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below the video. I know most of you don't seem to like to do that. You'd rather message me and that's fine too. However you wanna do it. But, um, you know, I'd be happy to answer any questions. So as I said, there are a lot more Grand Tableau videos coming. This is just the first of many. And watch it as many times as you need to to take it all in. And uh, that's it for now. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.